Hi mum, hi dad. Hope my message finds you well and a happy anniversary once again. As you know, my time at Northeastern and my education is finally coming to an end. Um, in the next two to two and a half weeks, your son will have a bachelor's degree in finance and a master's degree in international management degree under his belt. This would not have been as easy of a process as it has been if it wasn't for your support, guidance and all the sacrifices that you had to make. So before going any further, I just want to thank you for every single ounce of time and energy that you have spent in the development of your son. Thank you for that. And to be honest, these degrees are as much mine as they are yours. So on May 15th, when I walked that podium, just know you are walking with me and it's as much of a graduation as it is mine as it is yours. Given that education is coming to an end, it's time to find a real job. Both of you are well aware of my work experiences at Brown Brothers as a global taxation analyst and, and at John Hancock as a client reporting analyst that my capabilities lies in the finance sector, to say the least. But the purpose of this message is to essentially tell you that I will be applying for consultancy positions at firms that focus on helping fashion companies achieve their objectives. Now, I know this might come as a shock to you that why is our son a, fas a finance major going into a fashion industry through through consulting position? It does not make any sense. Well, consider the consultancy position as a mere stepping stone, one that allows me to get information about the fashion industry, which I don't think I would have been able to get if I was just conducting information from the outside. It allows me to develop this set of networks with entrepreneurs, suppliers, customers that will aid me in synthesizing all this information into this one document that I will use. Again, why is your son building out this weird document? Well, this is to let you know that I would like to end up as an entrepreneur, an entrepreneur that owns a bespoke tailoring boutique that provides suits to mom, women like you who've never had a suit in their wardrobe just because your job didn't require you to. Or that people like you who knew bespoke suits are way beyond your budget, so you end up budgeting and you end up essentially just getting a mere suit that ends up getting patchy or that you have to buy a new one every single three months. So... And any other single person who thinks that a suit is only for people who are in authoritative positions, that is not the case. And everyone deserves a well-tailored suit, to be honest. Dad, I know that you had asked Dadu, your dad, to raise me while you and, your, while you and mom work nine to nine in India every single day. And to be honest, Dadu did a great job. He pined my hair every single day, put me on a, put me in a suit for school. And that was the first time I realized the significance of a well-tailored suit. Dadu provided me, and you two provided me with this sense of encouragement and confidence through giving me these suits. And I would just like to provide the same feeling to every single other individual. If I can just provide this feeling to just even one individual, I think I would have done you guys proud. Given that, consider my consulting position as, as a mere stepping stone to owning, to owning this tailoring boutique. I don't mean to sound blunt, but this is not an easy or a quick process. Providing this feeling requires meticulous planning, which is why I'm making that document which is why I'm using this consulting position to develop this set of network and skills required me to successfully run this operation and run a tailoring boutique. And to wrap it all up, given that it's not a huge, given that it's not a small task and it requires a good amount of years behind it, I would just like to let you know that by the end of March, 2028, your son will own a tailoring boutique. And now coming to the end of this message. By the end of March, 2028, 
I won't own a tailoring boutique, but the process that has been conducted to get to that will require your support. The same support that you've provided me all these years to get my master's degree, my bachelor's degree, my co-op experiences, and every single other experience that I wanted to get in life. You've been there. And I would like you to be here for this specific achievement as well. And at the opening of the of the store too. Thank you.